Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, I want to dial in a big, chunky JCM800 inspired tone. I've got a PRS DGT plugged straight into the Axe FX3. I've got the Brit 800 model dialed up at stock settings. I've got my go-to LT TV Mix 7 Cab IR, and I've got the London Plate Reverb, kind of my go-to reverb on here. So let's just hear the Brit 800 at stock settings, and then we're going to change something very quickly. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's a pretty good straight up rock tone. Uh, there's a few variations on the JCM800 thing. If I remember correctly, this Brit 800 is actually modeled on a 2204, so the 50 watt model. Let's try Brit 800 mod instead of Brit 800. This one's got a different character straight away. <laughs> much, much chunkier. One thing that I found with this model is you can see that headroom parameter is starting to hit zero dB even with the volume at around four. So I like to turn the volume down a little bit, a bit closer to three, and we'll just compensate by bringing the level up to around minus nine. I like to actually pull some mid-range out of this on here, somewhere between three and four, take the bass and the treble up to around six along with the presence. You can do the same thing with the gain control. It's, you know, the uh, good old number of the beast setting, 666. Roughly, it doesn't matter too much. Let's have a listen to this. Brit 800 mod with these settings. <laughs> Not too bad so far. We can add a little bit of low end with the depth control. I'll take that to around nine o'clock on there. Let's hear that. And I'm gonna add a boost because there's nothing like a boosted 800. You could use something in the input boost section of the amp block or you could use a drive pedal. Uh, a natural choice would be the Super OD, but I like the CC boost with the boost level somewhere around nine dB. Let's have a listen to what that does when we kick it in. super satisfying. I like to play with the speaker page just to kind of get the last little bit of fairy dust on these kind of sounds. So one of my favorite speaker impedance curves is actually the X-Load impedance curve. Uh, so I'm going to swap over to that, the LB2 UK. I'll turn the speaker drive down to around one. I actually like to ditch speaker compression, bring the speaker thump up to around five and just drop speaker compliance a little bit. You don't have to do this. I think it sounds pretty sick without it, but this is like the last little sprinkle on the cake. Now we can have some fun with some time-based effects after this. Let's add some pitch detune. I've got this just set up for a pretty stock standard plus and minus nine cents of stereo detune. This one, you know, gets you into that kind of no more tears territory. <laughs>
Alternatively, if you've got my blocks library and you're on the three, you can add two multi-tap delay blocks and you can select the symphonic settings in here. There's symphonic one of two, then connect another one of these in parallel. And this will get you very, very close to that iconic Yamaha SPX90 symphonic patch. Where am I? Multi-tap delay. I'll go to the blocks library and we'll go to symphonic two of two. Might play you all out with this one. This is super greasy. I've actually got a modified version of my main live preset now where I've got it set up with those amp block settings because I really, really like them. Sometimes you're in the mood for something different. I normally use the Boogie Mark IV models, the USA Lead mid gain, but you know, every now and then you want some JCM 800 in your life. So that's why I've gone and dialed this in. I'll play you all out with this symphonic setting. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.